day traders working at S&P 500 and many futures. And the structure of the market right now is in a bullish trend. We have possible overshoot, but after overshoot, you expect stronger pullback in the opposite direction. That is not really happening right now. So there's a chance the channel is a little bit wider. The market is going to open in two minutes. So we will see what price action does. There's a chance that the channel is wider. So there's something I'm paying attention to. But still, bias is bullish. I'm just thinking about place to go long at the key entry point. So right now we have a close outside of our channel. So according to price session rules, we're expecting a new high to be tested. The downtrend is working lower as well. And this is just a first attempt to go long. Now, this is bounce off the EMA after quite a long time of no confirmation. So there's a big chance we're gonna push to a new extreme here, but I'm gonna follow the rules. I'm not gonna take a first entry long just yet. All right, so we had a second entry long, but it was below EMA. I was ready to go long here on a triple test, which is also high low confirming the second entry long, but it is an inside bar. But because it is still quite early, I'm not really confident taking inside bar just yet. So price action is just going sideways, so I'm waiting. I'm not buying now because we need to correct a little bit more. The 10,000 tick chart is very far from the EMA. This was very overbought market. As you can see, a bunch of small bars are at the top of the screen. We never truly touched the EMA here. So there was no pullback. This was quite overbought momentum. So I would like to see some deeper pullback and then waiting for push above EMA and high low or held second entry short. But I like to see some deeper pullback because notice how market continued to trend higher. And this is the tiny pullback right now, completely tiny compared to the overall uptrend. So I'm just letting that trend play out now and focus on buying above EMA. So our main channel to the left had a break, new extreme was tested. So right now we can have longer correction enter a brand new market cycle. I'm not only gonna be selling because we were in a bullish bias the entire day. Unfortunately, there was no good stuff. There was a horrible felt second entry short, but a form above bearish bar and I can't really go long here. So no good setup on the way up, but the price action trend line will play it out, break a new extreme. So right now I'm gonna be respecting the correction and see if we can get some decent setup. Right now we have strong bullish push off the potential trend line. If we get a felt second entry short above EMA, I would be interested. So I needed to see much better bar. We had a new offer first entry short, second entry short failure. Of course, I cannot go long about this horrible bar. Now we have better bar, but it just took too long. I'm not really sure about this uptrend anymore. We may go back into consolidation. So I'm just going to be patient and not taking any setup here because this downtrend may get new extreme and this channel is not correct because I need to see strong quick little trap to confirm the momentum. That is not happening, so I'm going to delete this channel and play the sideways structure right now without any decent setup. So we have a nice downtrend working lower. We had an overshoot, so I need to redraw a short downtrend working higher. There was a second entry short at the key entry point, but uptrend is in play after overshoot. I definitely need to see a lower high confirmation setup. There was no break higher here, so there is no technical low high on my chart just yet. So no way for me to enter here, unfortunately, just yet. Okay, sure. So we got filled on the lower high confirmation of the second entry short. I'm gonna, wow, and this was super quick. So I'm gonna place my stop loss to break even because anything we make is just a bonus. I had my stop loss one thing about the single bar, which was also above the entire swing. We scalped six contracts instantly, and now we're are letting the one contract here at the bottom in case the runner will be substantial. There was a massive momentum because all of these bulls got trapped. Notice the nice bullish bar. It acted as a new low first entry short, second entry short failure. But we're using the trend line rule. We're coming out to range highs. This downtrend needs to get new extreme break. We expect new low and EMA held once, twice, three times. Gorgeous tier one single bar. Absolutely textbook entry. All right, traders, and our runner just got hit. So because we broke below EMA and we have consistent series of lower highs and lower lows, I'm adapting to a little bit wider spike in the channel. You have a felt second entry long, but I can't really sell below this bullish bar. And by the time I get a double bar entry, it is just way too far down. Now when I'm going to take a look at 10,000 tick chart, the wider downtrend there looks pretty well. But if I'm going to draw it on 2,000 tick chart, you can see it looks quite broad. So it may come into play as of right now. I'm really going to be following this short channel here. I just came back from my break. I ended up adapting to wider downtrend. Now this downtrend fits really well. The problem why I didn't like playing it at the time was this early break right here. But other than that, it fits perfectly. We have a break, move to a new extreme, 
significant push above EMA and now a brand new uptrend is established. It was a decent second inch long, but it was just a little bit too big. All right, traders, here we have second entry short failure, but because this downtrend doesn't have fully break a new extreme, I'm not really taking the felt second entry short just yet, especially since the EMA is exactly in the middle of these bars. You can see quite congested. So if there was a break in new extreme, I would gladly take a felt second entry short. In a situation like this, I like to wait for high low confirmation setup to truly know that there's going to be reversal. As a trader, it's paramount to understand that you're paid by your performance, not by the screen time in front of your chart for this reason the setups you're going to be taking they must fit price action rules and you must understand what is the directional bias of the market there are going to be conflicting variables and there are going to be areas of indecision when if you're honest you don't know exactly what is the directional bias of the market and these areas are tricky because as a trader you always want to take a setup when you understand what is the bias of the market you're confident there are no conflicting variables and you want to make sure the case for the opposite side is minimal and once you catch yourself breaking the rules, gambling, you need to remind yourself you need to be objective all the rules and remain patient. Because as a gambler, you're not really going to make it far in this business. You need to have strict rules and a plan that you stick to. Now we're going to go through the chart because I want to talk about a few setups, but there really weren't that many setups. We started with quite a strong option, but this is a very overbought option. How do we know this? Because there is no push phase and correction phase, just a very overextended steep push phase. We have a second entry long, but it is below EMA. I don't think we can go long just yet below EMA. You want to see EMA holding. And if you're going to take a look at this correction, how tiny and insignificant it is compared to the size of the uptrend. For this reason, you really shouldn't be fading the breakout. You like actually to have stronger correction. You welcome the stronger correction because market on a higher time frame, 10,000 tick chart, needs to correct the EMA. And we can only go long once we can see push above EMA and a false second entry short. Why is that? Well, because that's a sign that the sellers are trapped selling on the wrong side of the EMA, but we had bullish bar, excuse me, we had a bearish bar, so we can't really go long above bar like this. Then we had a break in extreme, uptrend played out, the main one, even the shorter term one. And here you can see I was looking for some wide uptrend, but nothing really fit that well. And this is typical area of indecision because we traded up the entire day. So we cannot pick a towel, we cannot sell because you don't know how many pushes there's going to be. There's too much of a bullish bias. At the same time, you can't go long because all options played out. This downtrend needs to get a second leg. EMA is getting flat. So you can make a case for both sides and this is what you don't want. You always want to make sure you can only picture the case for one side and the case for the opposite side is almost non-existent. So you have to be really patient here. Today was very slow. So you basically need to sit here for one hour, not even touching the market. But this is how you know you're a professional trader if you don't get lured in by the market, you don't take impulsive setups. I marked this second entry long even though I'm not a fan of this one. I really don't think you're supposed to be taking setup in an area like this. But in case you went long on a second entry long off of this support, it is not a bad stuff to take a chance. Trading is about taking a risk. So I can see why someone would try to go long here. But overall, it is better to wait for what? Either confirmed uptrend or price action pushing back into trading. This is exactly what happened. Because as you can see, we have a downtrend working lower and you already saw me taking the lower high. And this is where everything aligned because there's no case for bulls. We have a downtrend working lower. There's no wider uptrend. It got negated. The range structure was confirmed by the push below EMA, below the resistance. This trend line rule needs to get new low. And this is absolutely technical hyper out this setup where everything aligns. And you want to take setups like these because this is where the percentage will go up. The win rate is quite big. Now, then get a little bit difficult because we keep making lower highs, lower lows. EMA is projecting. So you're looking for some variation of wider downtrend. But I couldn't really find the main challenge just yet because we had early break and it fits on 10,000 tick chart. But on 2,000 tick chart, it doesn't fit that perfectly. But once we bounce here, it is pretty obvious that this channel is quite nice. It fits off the bottom and overall price action acts nicely. Push phase correction phase, push phase correction phase. We had a second entry short where you can take it if you are playing the wide trend. If you have either one of these wider channels in play, either you're playing the big one or the smaller one needs to get new low, you can actually take a second entry short, but it's a little bit more aggressive because there is no break in new extreme, but the key entry point is going to be so strong, the brand new push phase will start. Well, second entry long, unfortunately, had a horrible bar. We can't really sell the low bullish bar and there was only first entry short. 
so market broke below and once again even though we had a big trend range we're never thinking about buying here because the bias was bearish and there's clear bearish imbalance in this market even if you have a break in your extreme so you need to understand how to recognize the health inside of a trend range this is not acting as a trend range this is clearly a down to working lower series of lower highs and low lows to like a pullback this is the pattern where we like to take a lower high below ema around this area because uptrend plays out we need to get new for the big channel that never formed ema is completely flattening so we're going to project the key levels the support and the resistance we're going to draw a brand new uptrend off of these closes i mark the second entry long as more aggressive because the bar just closed way too far up close to these highs it worked for a scalp but you prefer to bar close much smaller so we have room for a scalp to actually be made now in hindsight there's a great second entry short fell breakout but when you're watching this live you can see the channel can be just slightly wider and in play and we want to fade breakouts in a trend range sell high when we know that the trend line truly played out and here it is extremely tiny break so we cannot fully sell just yet then it's a shame we had first second entry short congested because we're bouncing off the range lows so there's going to be stronger momentum influx of buyers but overall you want to be a little bit patient and the high low we waited for just had horrible bar you can see a little breakout pullback high low confirmation of first second entry short but the single bar was bearish and pretty much now it's getting way too late and you can finish up with a low high so this is the big picture for today i hope you had a decent training day i'm gonna wrap it up i'm gonna to talk to you next time good luck with your trading